Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Hunt Marshall campaign. And uh, yeah, there's a big lizard boy turning up in our garden, and I don't like that much at all. So we're going to fight this guy. Um, yep, Haddock here has rocked up. Uh, you know, old rock up Haddock, that's what they call him. Uh, but we've actually managed to get here in time, which I really like. Um, I'm really happy with how this has happened. Um, it's rather nice. Also, the orcs are dead. Uh, Silostra is no longer bothering to attack us, so that's great. And uh, over here, we are also having to fight the elves, which is a bit annoying, honestly. I'm a bit annoyed by that. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like Teclis is getting all that much done. Um, he's still at war with Clan Mange, which still have, I think, these two settlements, I imagine. So, yeah, it, things aren't looking great for him, frankly. I think I think we'll be fine to uh, to deal with these guys fairly quickly, especially with all the artillery that we've got. Um, I do love this mechanic for Imperial Supplies, because I find the biggest problem with, like, most... Pardon me, most campaigns, frankly, is the lack of variety in the early game. And just, I just love the idea of just getting just piecemeal stuff, you know, to give you a bit of variety. It's just so much better than just having all of your armies early be the same, you know? Like, we never would have got access to Outriser Grenade Launchers and Hellstorm Rocket Batteries, you know, this early, usually. But yeah, we got, you know, a bunch of random artillery pieces in various armies. It just, it makes it feel more like an Empire army, you know? It's more like something you would make in custom battles or something, you know? Um, which is great, you know? Like, its strength is variety. Um, the game and the faction. So, it's great. It's great. I love it. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna end the turn, um, and let these guys attack us. Um, or, do you wanna start spending a bit of my cash? Uh, see, now, one thing I probably should do. Actually, I do kinda wanna build a Shrine of Sigma. Mm. Yeah, cause corruption's looking a bit rubbish. In a couple places, in fact. Uh, although, Chaos Corruption is going down, which is nice. Since we let that lunatic um, <laughs> into our house. Uh, that wasn't so good. So yeah, I want him to loiter for a turn. Uh, yeah, I think I might actually just try and go for some income. I might just get the Weaving House. You know, getting this stuff built is probably worthwhile. Because uh, our income is just diabolical. We're not using these building slots or anything. We're certainly not doing big building projects. Because we can actually get a lot of our decent stuff through supplies. So, um... Yeah, we don't necessarily need to build a bunch of recruitment buildings. So we can we can afford just to put our income up to support all of the supplies that arrive. So yeah, that'll do. Let's crack on. And children of the old ones have besieged us. No mean. greater marksman. Kinda want them to attack us. I mean this is a pretty good garrison. It's a pretty we damn good garrison. It'll certainly help. But uh yeah, there's some scary stuff here. Frankly, it's some scary stuff. Marcus we're gonna, we're gonna want everyone uh, fighting with that. I really want to do it as a siege battle. I think, although it's my best interest just to deal with them, and Marcus can just carry on. Like he can come over here, you know, take Chan Yuapek, stuff like that, or you know, even Chakwa down here. He could, he could fight down here because now I was actually a bit concerned with um, Lawmasters sort of taking territory uh, from me. You know, well, not from me, but you know, from other other factions, and then it's stuff that I would have wanted to take, and then I have to conquer around them. I didn't really want that. So the fact that we're at war with them actually works out kind of well for us. Um, but I kind of want to loiter, because I want to have a nice siege battle with him um, against these guys, because this is a really cool army to fight off in a siege. You know, we've got some flyers, we've got some very heavy hitters, you know, we've got a big old feral carnosaur. Like, this is an exciting thing to fight. Um, you know, big siege battle for. But I think we're going to have to fight it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll think on it for a bit. I'll think on it for a bit. First, though, uh, you know what, with the garrison and this guy? Yeah, yeah, we, we're fine. We're fine. We don't have to worry about this army. So that's good. And now, he can get a move on. So, let's uh, go into March Stance, because we still get uh, reinforcements. You know, we still get replenishment, even on March Stance, which I think will... It might change in game three, honestly. Uh, it might. It's actually it's a weird one, because um, they, obviously, for three kingdoms, I say obviously, maybe not that obvious, in three kingdoms, if you're in March Dance, you don't get replenishment, and I think that's a good trade-off, frankly. Um, you know, that that is a sort of common sense thing to me. Um, you know, you can't tend to the wounded, or, you know, let other reinforcements catch up, or whatever, if you are marching. 
at full speed, you know? Um, so it just makes sense to me that that should be the trade-off. Like, you should have to make the choice between bolstering your numbers or getting out of there. Or getting to somewhere quicker. Or getting there at higher strength. That makes sense. But it depends, you know? Is is that just sort of like a... Is that CA's sort of policy with how March Dance should work? Or is that just something they did for 3K and they want to keep this trilogy consistent? Who knows? Who knows? But uh, I kind of hope they change it. I kind of hope they change it to what 3K is. It just it makes more sense and it feels like more of a strategic choice. And that's the thing. Strategy games, you kind of want choices or else there's... You know, what's the point? That's it's entirely what strategy games are. It's all about making choices. So if they don't really offer you a choice... You know. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to need to fight these guys. That, that is a choice. This is a choice. Do I wait a bit or just get it over and done with? I think I need to take these guys out nice and quickly. All right. So, I was recording cinematics. Let's <laughs> let's undo this. Uh, boop, boop, and um, boop. We are done. Good. Right. Uh, we need to kill these guys. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. There's a lot going on. Uh, so there are Cold on Spear Riders there, which, I mean, they're the biggest problem um, to my sort of, you know, flimsier um, bunch. What I could do, though, Cold on Spear Riders, I could actually be quite cavalier with the war wagons and let them take the brunt of it while I fire in with a bunch of things. That might actually be... A good idea. Although, I should probably just wait for the reinforcements to come, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. I know. Boring. But, hey. If it keeps us alive, I shall be boring. Okay. You know, why Why live when you could live? <laughs> right, that's what they always say. You know, you should live a little. Yes, yes, stay indoors. Don't, don't uh, mention the event. Let's move over here with that lot. You guys. I mean, you can be basic anyway. Same with you. That'll do. Cool. Uh, so that's a thing. Oh, that'll do. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, you guys. Guard mode, please. All right. God, I, I really, like, speaking of 3K, I hope they put in formations. <laughs> Into Warhammer because you can just drag and it'll put them in formation. It's great. Uh, right, so we got a bunch of crossbowmen here. Let's get them in position. My knights, I want over here because I want to intercept these uh, cold on spear riders. Get them sandwiched. Uh, oh, crossbowmen! Don't be cross. Don't be cross, guys. No, no need to be cross. Bowman. We are Sigmar's heirs. Well, good for you. And, yeah, you guys can sit and observe. In fact, let's actually put one on either side. There we go. Alright, there's quite a lot going on here. Um, let's, let's start approaching this bad boy. So, Arrow of Kurnos. Who does that need to hit? Should we go for the Ancient Croxagore? Let's go for the Ancient Croxagore, shall we? And uh, you there. Let's hit him with all one of those. And, well, this is a nuisance, isn't it? Silly pterodons. I'm not going to be able to hit them very well, am I? Nah. Need some, need some huntsmen on the scene. And, oh my, look at that. Bunch of, bunch of big boys over there. Uh, oh, this is going well, though. This is going fine. Yeah, these guys are getting absolutely mulched. Okay, good. Now, it's time to get involved with our cavalry. We just lost a model, didn't we? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Now we've lost a model. We haven't lost a model yet. That's surprising. I'm very surprised by that. Uh, don't like the look of those crocs, of course, but... Oh, that carnosaur! Funnily enough. Oh, I'm a fan of that car, so. Uh, you guys charging? Lovely. Alright, now it's time for you guys to start blowing up some Saurus Warriors. Beautiful. Uh, so I think going over here. Uh, fine, I guess. Uh, cross Bowman. Don't be cross. Bowman. Aw. 
Okay. Let's get these bad boys in. Uh, who did we lose? Oh, they lost someone. That's okay. But we're definitely about to lose someone too. Get out of there, boys. Get out of there. Empire Knights, charge in. Slow these bad boys down. Need to get in there with some mass, alright? Come on. Come on. Poor Marcus. Things aren't looking great for him, I must say. I think he's going to get eaten by a dinosaur. Don't get eaten by a dinosaur, Marcus. Atta boy. Atta boy. Oh, good for you. He got out. <laughs> uh, I need to stop being so cavalier with these guys. I really do. Uh, yeah, let's do them. Why not? Yep, that's all good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, ooh, blimey. Oh, well, wow, we lost someone there. Oh, stop. Stop that. <laughs> you cheeky sod. Come back here. Bad. Naughty. It's alright, we're good. Uh, and yeah, you shoot too. Naughty lad. Alright, Outriders. You move over here too. You keep moving. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Sort of. You know, in a way. Some measurement. Um, I mean, everyone survived. Although, maybe not. Maybe Jorik died. I really can't tell if he died. Or, um, you know, well, got wounded. Not died, but, you know. I can't tell if he got wounded or, um, or didn't, I suppose. Um, or he just got shattered. I really don't know. Alright, how are you doing? Can you, can you spread out a bit, please? Okay, good. Good stuff. Are you guys all unbreakable? I feel like they might be. Yeah. This whole army's unbreakable. No wonder they're such a nuisance, huh? Alright. You guys need dead? Nearly. Sort of. Almost. Okay. Oh, he's still alive. Ah, not anymore. Good. Uh, right, you guys, blow them up, please. There's only a couple. Should be fine. God, poor Marcus. He really got hurt. I hope Jorik did survive, but his corpse might be here somewhere. Let's see. Can we see any dwarfs? It's a, it's a bit of an ask, isn't it? Bit of an ask, trying to find a dwarf amongst all these corpses. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll be able to manage it. Anyway, he's going to die. Go on. Go on now. Go on. God, this guy's bulletproof. There we go. Okay, arrow proof. Apparently not bulletproof. Decisive victory. Alright, so. Oh dear, Jorik. Yeah, he did. He did get wounded. Poor lad. That's alright. Really, I should just stop having these guys be my entire front line. Because, you know, it's fun for giggles. But, like, they're ranged units. They shouldn't be in the front line fighting carnosaurs. Or, you know, friggin' ancient croxagors. It's just very silly. But, uh, I can't help it. I can't help it. I, I like having them out in front. You know, lead by example. Um, I'm gonna pardon captives, because losing a bit of a punishment rate is fine. Yep, I noticed. Cool. There we go. Children of the old ones, dead again. Good. Uh, having a plan isn't always enough. Sometimes you need insight, sometimes foresight, but always martial strength. Always, guys. Always. Right, let's have a look here. Uh, ooh, more training could be nice. Although, deadly onslaught. That armor piercing is going to be a big help. So let's get bladed shield. Um, hmm, that could be fun too. Experienced plunderer. More post-battle loot is pretty good. Do enjoy that. Uh, right, now, I think, is the time where we upgrade all these guys to handgunners. Marcus Wolfhart. Love that. So it does essentially spawn a new unit. So, um, they are, yeah, they start injured, weirdly. It's very bizarre how it does that, but I love it. I think it's great. You know, it's while you're getting them re-kitted out with the new toys. And so with that, let's move up Marcus Wolfhart again. Good. And let's get some upgrades going. So Templar is... Honestly, I think if we get attacked from the north, it'll probably be Spectre Zuma that takes the brunt of it initially. So I think uh, Tlaxla is probably the way to go, because Skaven can get there pretty quickly if they suddenly decide to clear war on us. So yes, a little bit pricey, but got to get these upgrades going. Got to get them going. Excellent. Uh, good, good. That's the that's the right that's the right one. Good. Keep 
keep serving Sigmar, please. Um, so I could actually head over here to the Floating Pyramid anyway. I think I think this place can hold them off for now. If not, I can retaliate and take the place over again pretty damn quickly. And uh, this isn't exactly the best place in the world. So yeah, I'm going to go to the Floating Pyramid. I'm going to go over there. And there is a lot of treasure around here still, actually. It made me wonder. Now I've got a few guns here as well. I could uh, maybe try and get some more swordsmen in here. Just to help uh, pad it out a bit. Because we've definitely got some heavy hitting, you know, units here. So just having some swordsmen or spearmen just to soak up the brunt of whatever we might be facing. That is probably a good shout. And then we can go get the treasure, fight off, you know, whatever bandits we may find. Because, yeah, treasure's good. And I'm pretty sure any battle will put this up. So, you know, treasure hunting. It's what we're here for. And this mod, you know, with the treasure kicking around. Where are you? Any treasure? There's some treasure. Hmm. Let's go get that. Marcus Although, Wolfhard. Marcus does need recruits, doesn't he? Let's see. I did say it would be nice to get some mortars with him. But, uh, I mean, we do have the Hellstorm rocket battery, at least. Although, that's not the best Monster in a siege, Hunter. frankly. Um, it's not the best. So, tell you what, let's let's head to the Temple of Tlenken, and we'll we'll do this uh, we'll do this little treasure hunt once we've once we've got some more recruits. I think. Yeah, I think that'll be it. That that'll that'll be the way to go. Cool. So, you guys, what do we need to do again? Take Chen Yuapek, uh build the Emerald Pools, which is in uh, Itza. Yep, in Itza. And oh, now we need medicinal plants, marble, and exotic animals. Hmm, that's cool. Very cool. Uh, also, we need to take the Awakening. So, yeah, we got quite a lot to do now. We've done all the easy ones, but we need to take that, uh, that, around there somewhere anyway. Somewhere around there. Um, and uh, it's uh, down here. So, yeah, we've got to expand. We've got to take basically all the north of um, Lustria. So, it's probably good we don't push too far north, because there's nothing really up here for us in terms of, you know, finishing the quest. So... We'll see. All right, let's crack on. Okay, hostility dissipates. So back to normal. People are upset, but it's going to be another 48 turns before we get any new toys. So we're going to need to get the hostility up if we're going to, uh, you know, get some more supplies nice and quickly. So uh, New World Colonies have declared war on Skeggy. Skeggy's actually getting kind of wrecked, which is nice. It looks like, is it you guys? Nope. Nope, Sid Oscar actually seems to be... Uh, good friends with them. So, that's unusual. So, who destroyed Skeggy? I totally missed that. Totally missed that. No idea who managed it, but... Awesome. Awesome, frankly. I'm always tempted to just swoop in and grab that. Because <laughs> I could probably grab that. Um, but no, I won't. I'll leave him to it. Marcus Wolfhart. Alright, Marcus Wolfhart. Go, go there, please. Thanks, lad. Well, that's exactly what you're there for. Gathering supplies. So, endurance. Uh, lower attrition, which is really nice. An extra ambush defense chance. That's pretty good. Make it very hard to get ambushed. Because uh, uh, Marcus Wolfhart's already got um, some, like, you know, plus 50% ambush defense. Ooh, plus 12% campaign line of sight. That'll be quite handy as well. Okay. Let's stock up. So, um, only archers. We never did. We never did upgrades to barracks, did we? We need four thousand, and we are just not earning much money right now. Praise be to Sigma. Oh, that's a nuisance. I I would like to just get a bunch more huntsmen. Um, so I guess what I could do in the meantime is, I mean, I could just get a bunch of archers that I could then uh, upgrade. But I mean, the difference between you know, these guys and huntsmen in this army is, is just ridiculous, so it'd be a waste. Alright, let's get a couple of them. Let's gonna put our income down to basically nothing, so that's fun. And Yeah, I'm gonna leave that actually. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have the last uh wait, no, it'll be the last one. We need to do something about this army. I think we need to offload these outriders and maybe even the war wagon to a different army. Um because we don't got this many heroes. It's 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 hard to fit them in, and we have one more hero that needs to rejoin this army as well. I mean, I don't necessarily have to have them all in one army, but I could have them spread out, which would probably be a lot wiser. Um, actually, I might do that. I might do that. It's fun having them all together, though. 
And I will want them all together in the final battle. So, hmm. So I should probably have them together Sigma now if I'm going to have them together later. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Alright. You lad, you head over there. You guys. You come head down here. That's actually a long way to travel, isn't it? Awfully long way to travel. So, at each step, I think we should recruit some crap. Um, <laughs> let's just get... Whoops. Why did you do that? Silly. Daft. Alright, so, he's good to go. Brilliant. I like that a lot. Um, I know, these guys are cheap nonsense, but who cares? They're a roadblock. That's all I need them for. And the anti-large isn't actually bad. You know, in case there is cavalry that I somehow miss with all the cannons. Um, okay, that should do it. Next turn again, I suppose. Yeah. Nothing else to do. We're just sort of prepping these two armies to start doing a bunch of treasure hunting. Because we're going to need that for our cash, because we are earning no money right now. Oh, no. Yeah, all right, fine. Be that way. Um, say now, they've only got three territories. We could probably take out Mazda Mundi quite easily. So I guess we have no choice. We'll just wipe out Hexo Atoll then. Um, and if we do wipe it out, hopefully New World Colonies can can take advantage. That would be very good. You know, hopefully they can take a bunch of that territory and we don't have to worry so much. Migration. Uh, the extra growth is nice. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, people are pretty miserable, but... Uh, I mean, people are always miserable. It's fine. Right. Marcus. Grand Hunts Marshal. I love this. So, mute psychology for everyone. Brilliant when you're fighting a bunch of dinosaurs. And also Vanguard for literally everybody. Which is, again, wild. Because you can have Vanguard artillery. You know, you can Vanguard a Hellstorm rocket battery. It's very silly. Um, so I love that. Also, Sundering Attacks, though. And that's really good as well. They're all very, 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 very good. Let's go with that one first. It'll lower upkeep, which will actually put our income up a little bit. Um, I mean, it's only for the Huntsman, it's only 50%, so not major, but it'll make them better fighters, um, melee, and give them some extra damage. I'll get Grand Hunt, uh, Hunt Marshal next, I think. Although, the Sundering Attacks would make a lot of sense if I have to fight Mazdan Mundi. Hopefully he's not on uh, Slack yet. Hopefully. Uh, anyway, this should do it then for an army. Um, I mean, we have one slot left, essentially. I mean, there's two slots, because we're 18 and 20, but we're going to have Jorik uh, join the gang again. So I'll probably leave it like that and have... Um, I mean, getting Halberd would be nice, actually. But we don't have a blacksmith. Let's just get this treasure. Let's just get the treasure. And then we'll we'll do some more brainstorming, I suppose. Well. Oh, I don't say it bugged out. The, um, like, land treasures can be a little bit funny. Um, to the point where I'll do something, some other action, and then it'll kick in and be like, oh, treasure! <laughs> Which is quite amusing. Um, it, it hasn't been 100% for me. It's been a bit strange. Some of the behaviours have been a little bit unusual. But, uh, surprisingly good. You know, say it's a mod doing something that really shouldn't be allowed to happen. But, it's pretty good. Look, look at this little town. Huh. It's on fire, which doesn't bode well, but still. A little town here. Hmm. Right, High Sentinel. Uh, we'll leave it as is. Uh, this is a bit of a problem with these guys being so close. They're probably going to take High Sentinel quite quickly, aren't they? Probably. Uh, search the ruins. Oh, good. I like these. I like these a lot. Um, so, question mark there. It's at the base of the snake, so it's the triangle. This is exactly the same puzzle we had last time. So there, 1,000. Brilliant. And a scepter of stability. Extra magic resistance. I mean, yeah, it's not terrible, I guess. Not terrible, not great. It's like an active thing, but mm, might help at a pinch. Uh, right. Marcus so, Wolfheart. Marcus Wolfheart did nothing this turn, rather annoyingly. Oh, okay. These guys are starting to expand. That's also a problem. Um, if we do go to war with these guys, uh, like go on a proper campaign rather than just sort of trying to hold them off, uh, we need to get rid of them quickly because these elves will be very annoying. Even though they're kind of weak, 
Uh, they're only sending small armies over here. They're still making progress, and that is not good enough. That is not good enough for us. So, uh, yeah, Marcus Wolfhart. Yeah, I think he's going to travel around. If these guys just head over the sea, though. I mean, we've got a good garrison. And these guys can catch up, I think. So, yeah, you start heading over here. I hope that treasure event does kick in at some point, though. Because that's very annoying that we didn't get that. It's quite sad. Uh, so we've got 1,500 so I can get this. Or oh, I could try and squeeze out the guardhouse. But frankly, I think this is already a lost cause. The idea of these guys not attacking this next turn seems kind of silly. So, yeah, let's try and get some more income from there. It's not much, but hopefully it'll help. Hopefully it'll help. God, there's so much treasure over here that would be great to just have this guy, you know, yo-yo from one to the next. Maybe he could do that. Maybe I could actually afford for him to do that, and Marcus can just deal with everyone. If I set up enough ambushes and, you know, actually, <laughs> actually catch people out for once, I haven't been very lucky with that so far this campaign, but if I can actually catch out some of these guys in ambushes, I could steamroll this pretty quickly, I reckon. It would just come down to, can I get to Hexoatl before, like, a stack emerges in it and uh, adds to the ludicrous garrison. Because, uh, yeah, Marcus even a bunch of Temple Guard on the walls or anything, like, the Mortars will do great against those kind of units. Um, all clumped up on walls. It makes them just brilliant targets. Uh, right, I think we can just end the turn again and hope that stuff works. But yeah, probably losing high sentinel immediately. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, you you can have it. You go crazy. Enjoy. Oh, they just sacked it. Okay, that works too. Slows them down. You know. It means the front line is still here, <laughs> rather than wherever they end up. Oh no, they're still moving. Huh. Oh, the Drowned have taken Skeggy. That's kind of cool. I mean, not great for us, because they're bad guys. But, uh, yeah, still, if it, if it stops Norska, I'm kind of happy with that. It'll give our, not really allies, but our trade partners a bit of respite, hopefully. If only for a little while. Uh, the Lost Caravan. Ah, that was the, that was the event. That's the treasure. It kicked in late. It does that sometimes. It also might mean that we're all tired now because I went to the night stars. Ah, oh, well, be fine. Um, a trading caravan carrying a myriad precious goods across a nearby trade route has been brought low by what looks to be a bandit raid. Much of the chagrin of wealthy merchants and investors back at their homes, knowing that such a find could be a highly profitable salvage opportunity. You approach the area, but unsurprisingly, others have also caught wind of it. You could continue your approach, but this might end in confrontation. Good. No, not build structure. That's a different event. And, okay. Not doing the battle yet. Okay, so I think it triggered late and then didn't work. We're having some weird stuff. Also, if you're wondering about building a watchtower, by the way. That's actually an option here. There's uh, build structure. And you can actually build towers and forts. Which is very cool. This is a mod. This is a mod. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I haven't, uh, I haven't had the money or the excuse to build any yet for us, but uh, still. I feel like there might be a conflict going on there somewhere, somehow. Which is annoying, because it worked perfectly in my test run. So now I'm a little bit concerned that the treasure stuff has broken somehow. I really hope not. I really hope not. Yeah, this is why I picked the short campaign. <laughs> to play, you know, a bunch of, like, quite, quite ambitious mods. Like, seriously, like, again, kudos to the authors for all of these. It's very impressive. Um, Not right. Yet. Not yet. Okay, keep moving. Uh, I'd like to get these handguns replenished, ideally. Because, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Um, come on, let's, let's test this. Let's see if we can't get this treasure. If we have to fight a battle, we obviously can't do that. Oh, good. This site is home to an ancient shrine to a lost god. The place is bathed in power, and as your followers approach, angry runes upon the shrine illuminate. They glow a beacon to the wary. Choose! Booms a deep, disembodied voice. So this is actually one of the events that we got, um, that we get, uh, that we had ages ago, if you recall, when you search for treasure um, in ruins, you know, before they put in all the puzzles, if you guys remember that. So it's nice that they're getting used again. I don't know, aggression. What did this do? Oh. <laughs> what? Bandit hideout again. Is this the one over there? Again? 
Maybe? Uh, it could be because we were in March stance it didn't let us do it. That could be what happened there. No idea. Bandit hideouts are some of the world's most elusive places, where the wealth of local brigands secretly kept... Hang on. It could be that that was two lots of treasure on top of each other. Oh no. Now I don't know. Uh, where the wealth of local brigands is secretly kept and fiercely defended. It seems that today may be your lucky day as your scouts claim to have spotted one. A small cave in the woods, next to which a camp is established. The camp belongs to infamous bandits and it appears that they have just returned from banditry. It's an opportunity for a big payday, but those heartless bandits certainly won't give up their wealth too easily. Uh, I'm actually going to risk this. I, I think this could be that previous thing kicking in, but it might not be. So if he dies, so be it. Like, it's nothing. He's just costing me upkeep and really he's not doing much for me. So. Oh, it is him. It is this him. This is what we trained for. So, yeah, I don't I don't think this is what you trained for, mate. We cannot so, no worries. No worries. So, it was that there were two treasures piled on top of each other inexplicably. But he did gain a follower for losing. He really gained one. He did. <laughs> All right. Cool. You do you, mate. You do you. Alright, brilliant. That was unusual. Also, we did get that Kislevite something. Kislevite Kossar. Oh, very cool. Many Kossars leave the constant wars of their homeland to become mercenaries and adventurers elsewhere. Wow, plus 7% campaign movement range? Hell yeah, let's give that to Wolfric the speedy. He's very speedy. Uh, Wailing Band is pretty wild. I like that. Uh, I mean, tax rate in local province is pretty cool, but I'm going to give that to our other boy. Where's our Kislevite? There he is. Good. And you... What orders? You are going to get the other boy. So, uh... Tax rate. Because this guy we got on more of a babysitting duty, so it makes more sense. Perfect. Marcus Perfect. Uh, alright, let's... Yeah, Marcus is just going to keep, uh, keep moving out this way. I'm going to... I'm going to try and speed him along. Because only one army can reach me. And... He's not even going to try it, so I don't have to worry about Check that much. So, first. should be good. More armies on the way, including Mazdamundi. We really need to ambush Mazdamundi. That's that's going to be the only way we can get rid of him, I think. Because uh, I'm sure he's still got some pretty stocky uh, lads in his army. But once we do deal with this, actually, it would be quite easy just to have one general just grab all of this stuff. Because I don't think... I don't actually think that... Um, oh, nope, Skaven Corruption, 70%. Wow! That actually is... It actually is Skaven territory, huh? How on earth did they manage that? Well, I'm very, very impressed. Very impressed indeed. Alright, let's uh, let's crack on. Okay, so, volley fire. So we had a lot of weird treasure nonsense going on. Let's stick to the ocean stuff, although the stuff at sea is also a little bit buggy using this mod. <laughs> I've also had problems with that. At least I think it's the the treasure mod. That's what I've assumed. But it could actually be a different mod that's conflicting with it. Because, yeah, mods. You know what they're like. Um, you never know. So, you there. Do you want to you wanna try and ambush? That'd be nice. You try and ambush. Um, you never know. Uh, if that guy does take Floating Pyramid, he's going to have nothing left of his army. And we can just have it. So that'll be really good. Uh, outside of that, though, uh, oh, he can actually go quite a long way to ambush. That's brilliant. Uh, this guy might even double back to try and actually take High Sentinel. So that could be good, too. Although I'm a little bit concerned that all these guys decide to just run over here. We'll see. We'll see. High Sentinel. Actually, you know, he's getting some truth back. Just not much. Right. You there. Um... Could go scale out that treasure. If it is like, you know, choose a fight, I'll just choose no fight. That's fine. Um, oh, also, he's in March stance. I need to remember to take him off that. Because you can't get treasures if you're in March stance. Gotta remember. Gotta remember that. So, tonight's slur. What have you got for me? Uh, kind of nothing, actually. I mean, I could build a, a weaving house at some point. I guess we just gotta wait, because we are broke. Uh, I suppose there's a big skull island. There is a big skull island nearby. I mean, it's not that nearby. Ideally, it would be, like, right there. Or, or there. Because uh, Skull Islands tend to get you the best stuff. You know, it's like 10 or 20k, which would be great right about now. 
Um, let me just build up my infrastructure. Um, oh, cheaper ports doesn't even matter. Let's have a look. Extra tradable resources doesn't sound bad. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. Cool. Damage building. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave him damaged, frankly. Let's move on, and fingers crossed these ambushes will actually work. Oh, Teclis is right there. We have to run back. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we'll have to have the um, our sort of secondary army go and deal with him. Floating pyramid we can take without even breaking a sweat. In fact, we could take both of those quite easily this turn, I reckon. Maybe not that one quite so easily, because, yeah, they might be able to get reinforced the next turn, so I might have to worry about casualties a bit, but we could probably do enough damage to these lizards that I can just sort of ignore Teclis for a bit and get to him once I've dealt with the lizards, because I reckon I can conquer Hexoatl quicker than Teclis can conquer me. <laughs> so we'll just do a race um, you know, to conquer territory. Let's try that. In fact, Jorik Grimm is nearby. I can slow him down if I want. That could be fun. So, Tlaxler, how are you looking? Oh, see, that's sad. It's not even that bad a garrison. Like, if, if only I had the money to get the city watch. You know, a mortar, a couple of outriders. Yeah, that would have really helped. Uh, also, I find it sad that you can't have heroes join a garrison. Um, I find that very annoying. They have to actually be embedded in an army to be able to contribute, which is a bit of a nuisance. So, yes, these... What? How on earth are all these guys... Oh, well, yeah, because they're heroes, aren't they? They don't... <laughs> They don't give some of their flesh when colonizing. Of I was going to say, how come they've got so much health? The rest don't. So. Of the weak. Right, so this army, it's only really the Salamanders and the Sacred Croxicles I have to care about. Uh, and yeah, the, the garrison's pretty rubbish, so I could bait out Mazda Mundi by killing all his friends. Which could be a laugh. I'd be up for that. And uh, that I can take out with this guy. So... We could take two or four territories this turn, I reckon. So, wow, really? It's going to be that difficult? How? Oh, right, yeah, because the AI cheat, I remember. Um, so the annoying thing is, usually if you just take over a settlement, it takes a while for your garrison to get to full strength, but the AI don't have that problem. So if you're in an annoying situation where you're sort of trading territories back and forth, it's always easy for them to take your stuff and not the other way around necessarily. It's very dumb. But uh, we're going to fight this anyway, um, just because it's a bit too close um, I mean, it obviously we'll win this, but it's it's a bit too close for me to feel comfortable letting Auto Resolve do it. Or is it? You know what? We'll have the replenishment, and this is not going to be a target. So we actually lost two units outright. See, this is this is why this is why I err on the side of caution at times like this. Because yeah, sometimes it is very dumb. Oh, thank God! Thank you! Thank you! Whoever you are. Oh my god, so the elect another elector pledged aid. So an elector count has contacted you anonymously to lend his support to the expedition. He has made arrangements for you to receive additional aid from home, funded by his state, which is ruddy wonderful. So, Spectre Zuma we can upgrade, which is great. And uh, sadly, I, I mean, I could upgrade that, but it'd be a waste because it's about to get taken, which really sucks. So, yep, Jorik Grimm, I want to head over there and just bother Teclis for a bit. Oh, there's treasure there. Could maybe grab that with uh, with this chap on the way. Mm. We'll see. Uh, so yes, level up for you. Do we want to get him a horse, or do we want to get him more melee defense for units? I think I think we got to. And now let's go take Monument in the Moon, shall we? Come here, you. Uh, no, this we are gonna have to fight because we need to win this convincingly because Master Mundi's right there. In fact, if I encircle for a moment, how close is he? Yeah, it's going to take him a couple turns to get here. Although one turn from the sea, actually. Hmm. Alright, well I'm doing it. I'm attacking him. Alright, so. Ugh. You know, this is one of those annoying times where it's like, I wish it was a siege battle again. Because I could do the siege battle with, you know, fewer casualties. With, uh, with this kind of kit. Which is very annoying. Oh well. Okay, good. Our eyes grenade launches are going to be ruddy good help. They're so good at killing skinks, like, despicably fast. Uh, also, let's actually be a bit more careful with uh, the rest of our boys, shall we? 
So let's put you in the middle. If you guys will listen. No, you won't. All right, fine. Hellstorm rocket battery could be on the edge. Um, so you and you. I want you guys to both hit the enemies with some uh, tasty abilities. Nice and early. Uh, Paladin of Bratonia can go over there. You guys loitering. I think, I think that's it, isn't it? I mean, that's that's all we got. So, so now let's try and kill these little sods, shall we? And yeah, we're going to need to kill these salamander hunting packs. Very sharpish. Um, okay, so uh, maybe shoot in this direction. I, how hellstorm rocket batteries are killing cold on spear riders? You reckon? Probably not that great. Uh, this side looks like the side I want to deal with. Uh, can I just hang out, I suppose? Problems. Problems, problems, problems. I guess. Fine. I guess. You know, we can get rid of them in a hurry. Some hunting packs. Let's, let's get rid of them, please. For the love of God. Alright, Crop School's coming in now. Which is also incredibly problematic. You know, it's all fine. In a way. Uh, right, let's lower the melee defense. Beautiful. Okay, deal with him, please. Uh, yeah, you guys need to just get the heck out of dodge at this point. Um, Alright, uh, hit them first. Good, good, good. good. Alright, Huntsman, full back. Uh, yeah, you guys are doing well, but you're going to have to fall back. And Oh, we're taking a lot of damage on a great sword, which I'm not happy about. Not happy about that. And now you guys are going to fall back. I don't like all these trees getting in the way, but they're getting plenty of kills. So, that's nice. Okay, go on, boys. And where did they go? There they are. Alright, how's everyone getting on? Getting on well? Hope you're getting on well. Okay, good. Uh, yep, you start shooting into them, please. Okay, you start moving over there. Crocs girls are running. Beautiful. And now I really need to get up and around with this cavalry because that is too juicy to pass up. It's so good. Uh, right, shoot into there, please. And oh, they're running away. And they're struggling too. That's no fun. All right, you shoot into there, please. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a problem. It's a problem. That's a problem. Alright, shoot there, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get those shots in. Get those shots in. Oh, beautiful. Okay, much better. Much better. Alright, shoot there, please. Uh, run. Alright, how are you getting on? You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Alright, you go up and around. Okay, you guys doing well now? You shoot them, please. Uh, you guys. Oh, Salamander hunting packs are back. I don't like it when the packs are back. Okay, I can't really tell what's happening over here anymore. But everyone seems to be enjoying themselves, and that's the main thing. Okay, you guys. Keep shooting them. Oh, great swords are struggling. They are struggling. Okay, good. They've just uh, had a bit of a freak out, and it looks like we won. Good. Good. Phew. Yeah, we took we took a lot of punishment. Great swords took far more damage than I would have liked. But uh, yeah, great nade launchers. Oh wow, they didn't even get that much damage. But still, I was about to say they did me proud. I mean, one definitely helped. I mean, they all helped. But still, my word, that'll that'll do. That'll do. Let's stop before friendly fire because it's siege, so they're dead. I don't have to mop up any. We're fine. Let's get out of there. Okay, good. We didn't lose any units. And hopefully it'll take a couple turns for Master Mundi to get to us. He may come around this way, but our Lords and Heroes is still very good shape. And hopefully he doesn't have any, like, decent special units. It's mo mostly just infantry. Hopefully. But who knows? Could just be literally nothing but dinosaurs. In which case, you know, probably not going to be great for us. But still, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. So, uh, Monument of the Moon... Uh, floating pyramid. What do we want to upgrade? Probably should repair this stuff now. 
Uh, so yeah, monument, uh, monument of the moon I'm going to upgrade. Because it's got a port. So, just nice, easy source of income if we get that leveled up. So, uh, yeah, now techless is the problem again. Let's see if we can get some more treasure over here. What have you got for us, mate? Ah, there we go. Uh, while your forces search the cave for treasure, a violent tremor shakes the area and the cave seems to be unstable. Your forces only have time to take a few crates with them before the cave falls on them. But what should they save? I know, arms and armor. Alright, yeah, 1250, nice, and heavy iron, which is crap for him, because, you know, he's not doing anything. So, whatever, that's fine. Works for me. We got some extra money out of it. And that's the main thing. So, what next? Oh, I just, I, I hate that this is going to get attacked by Teclas. Because, yeah, we don't have walls. Because I couldn't quite get this done in time. Which is really gutting. If I had, I wouldn't be worried. I, I reckon we could beat um, a high elf army. You know, with, uh, with just a slightly improved garrison. So close. In fact, uh, what I could do is actually get uh, Boris von Leibwitz here. Or uh, perhaps this chap, maybe, or... I don't know, I want to get a Huntsman General, because they're higher level. Um, and I could just get a couple of regiments renowned. So, you know, if they die, that's fine. So, so like protection is only going to be for him, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, I guess just level up his own stuff. Sure and true, that's good, because that's, that's an aura, so it doesn't, it doesn't have to be associated with his army for them to get the benefit. So, let's give that a go. And I guess I'll just put up his missile damage. It's very good missile damage, so... You know, hopefully he can pick off Teclas from the walls. Well, not from the walls, from the field we're in. And uh, maybe he can join, but... Nah, it doesn't like he can get there in time anyway. Uh, also, we can only get the Death Jacks, not the Sigmar Sands. Ah, well. Death Jacks. The Death Jacks are renowned archers who can track a foe at speed through any forest. First recorded on the uh, Vertbad Roll of Honor in the year 2004, the Death Jacks were hired to scout ahead in the main Stirland army during the civil wars between the three emperors. The Death Jacks have continued to be of service, ambushing opposing scouts and finding hidden paths from which to take the foe unaware. To this day, the Death Jacks still recruit out of the Great Forest, as the rough country breeds canny archers with excellent woodscraft. Used to, f uh, used to fending for themselves, the Death Jacks have been, have been dubbed the Mutton Stickers, or Thieving Jacks by their own comrades, as baggage trains and supplies mysteriously go missing in their presence. All is forgiven, however, when the archers return from a scouting mission, waving their banners to signify enemies ahead, or blaring the all clear on their hunting horns. Excellent. Very cool. Um, I don't know, do I queue up some crap? Probably not. Not much point. I'm sure uh, Teclis has got this. But we'll see. We'll see. That'll make it a little harder for him. Because, yeah, if he gets some good shots on Teclis, you know, we'll be laughing. Because, yeah, Teclis is squishy as hell. Although it seems like he's got, like, a ton of, uh... Wait, what? Bow of the Seafarer? Oh, it gives him a magic missile. Oh, that's fun. And annoying. Jerk. Yeah, well. Yeah, he's got some nice stuff. I want it. Um, yeah, so he's pretty squishy. So hopefully we can uh, we can pick him off with uh, with cons here. Hope so. Hope so. Certainly hope so. But hmm. Also, a claim is going up. We're uh, almost halfway through the campaign, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Um, although we do yes. want to get all the other missions done, so we will need to take Awakening, we will need to take Chen Yuapek, we will need to take Itza, and uh, that probably involves just wiping out Teclis, frankly. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting there though. Oh god, really? Mazda Mundi does have the full dino army still. I figured those are the ones that he dropped, but nope, nope, he's still got all the dinosaurs. I don't think we can fight this. I genuinely don't. I think we're in a lot of trouble, guys. Uh, I mean, hopefully we can kite them about a bit with Cav. Um, but yeah, I don't know how we can deal with that at all. This is obscene. Absolutely obscene. Ugh. Oh well. Uh, um, God, I have no idea. I have no idea. If this guy can help, you know, we've got more artillery. Uh, the war wagons are good for, like, just bothering them, keeping them busy. But, uh, yeah, it's, mm, Bad. Just bad. This is very bad. I don't know how we can deal with Master Woody. I really don't. Not with this. Not with this. 
God damn. All right. Uh, imminent rebellion. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Let's crack on. So Tekla's going to attack. Here he is. Uh, oh, he's got his frost fire, uh, frost art phoenix still. That sucks a bit. And and swordmasters of Hoeth. Yeah, we got problems. We got problems. I think pistol ears could probably deal with the frost art phoenix though. Um, although it'll take a long time, and that's assuming that the Illyrian Reavers won't bother us. Hmm. Yeah, this could be rough. I'm not sure we'll have this. Uh, what's your thing again? Oh yeah, snipe, isn't it? Yeah. Which is helpful, actually. Alright, let's give it a go. For. Okay, so it is a choke point battle, at least. But, uh... Still doesn't make me feel too comfortable, I must say. Uh... So, crossbows ready, general. I mean, we can only really block one area, not this one. Um, hey, is that something that I want to take advantage of? I wonder. I wonder. I'll leave that open. You know, our uh, cavalry are going to try and come around this way, which I can then try and nab. Could give it a go. Could give it a go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I mean, if they all do come this way, just move, it doesn't matter. Uh, are they all going this way? I mean, if that's the case, again, it's just like, it's fine. Isn't it? Yeah, basically. Alright, fine. You guys? You can go over here. So all I have to do is turn these guys around. It's just... <laughs> makes no difference. Oh, God. Here comes that magic missile. Alright, move, move away from them. And... Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright. So, alright, let's move here. And you guys, move here. Uh, you, get up on the hill. Deathjack should be able to overwatch that rather nicely. Oh, crap, fireball coming in. Please, please hit pillar. Oh, thank God. Wow, actually destroys the pillar. I didn't realize these were destructible. That's an interesting touch. Cool. Uh, oh, Lord and Sea Guard coming in. Perfect. Perfect. Let's uh, let's kill them. Let's kill these idiots. Perfect. Yeah, they want to come this way. That's great. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. Anyway, shoot those Lord and Sea Guard, please. And another fireball coming in. Freaking ow. Not a fan of that. Okay. Also not a fan of this. That guy's absolutely messing us up. Alright, come on. Let me get to you. Oh! I didn't even notice that guy was there. Okay. Come on, guys. Get him nice and quick, yeah? If you'd be so kind. Uh, oh god, what's this now? Oh good, shot his own his own lad, that's brilliant. Uh, Alright, let's hit him with the fire thing. And Oh, well, oh, more of them coming in. Cool, missed completely. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. And, oh no. Where on earth are they? There they are. So, Silverhelm's in here now. There, he's just going to dive bomb our boys again, isn't he? Of course he is. Okay, that's good. Tell me you haven't been spotted. Nope, not yet. Brilliant. You just keep shooting. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Okay, good. And you guys are terrible, terrible skirmishers. Uh, Alright, shoot them now. Excellent. And, oh, you shite. Don't, don't get, don't be spotted. <laughs> Please don't be spotted. Alright, you guys get in there, you guys try and hold off those spearmen, please. Alright, start shooting them. Lovely. How are you lot doing now? Quite badly, frankly. Uh, they're breaking immediately, as is tradition. Guys, dude, come on. I hope you can't click on your boys properly. It's very annoying. They have shields, don't like that much. Ooh, yeah, he's running. I don't like that either. Alright, uh, let's shoot the Swordmaster Hoeth. Death Jacks. 
and start shooting the sword master hoe. You guys are terrible at this. Come on. Are you kidding me? How are you getting caught? Pathetic. You all just run at him, please. Thanks. Uh, how are things going over there? Not great. Not great. So, yeah, they're still going too. Which is a pain. Uh, Alright, you guys move out this way. That's good. Alright, now where are they? Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, come on. You guys move out this way. And it looks like Swordmaster Hoeth are doing quite poorly, which I like to see. And uh, shoot those Swordmaster Hoeth, please. Uh, yeah, you guys move this way, actually. That's probably, probably safer. Please keep shooting them. You guys keep shooting them, and... Uh, and they found the Death Jacks. Ugh, rubbish. Rubbish. Hate it. Alright, come on. Come on, let's kill this boy, yeah? Alright, come on. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Stay alive. Ah damn. And how alright, stop getting caught, please. Thanks. Good boys. Uh Death Jack's still going too, which is cool. Alright, how are we looking? Killed killed the Phoenix. Killed the Phoenix. That is actually huge. That is massive that we killed that Phoenix. And it looks like we devastated the Swordmasters, though I think. Ah, oh, still five of them. In that case... Can I... Sneak past... <laughs> and kill those sword bastards? Probably not. I think we're going to allow me losses. Long before then. Still, rather happy with that. Did alright. Probably should have uh, tried to use... Um, those arrow abilities of our general a bit more often. To actually, you know... Could have probably killed that uh, phoenix before we died. That would have been nice. Oh, yeah, he's running. Of course he is. I guess we couldn't sneak past him. How, how are we still fighting? Seriously. Come on, guys. This feels uh, a little unrealistic to me. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the other unit. Okay. There we go. There's the animals. Still not bad. We killed the phoenix. And that is a big big, like, that is a big get for us, frankly. Okay. So that's fine. Ah, oh, we couldn't quite get the Swordmasters. Really, six left. Although it's only five. But hey, didn't quite get them. Got the Phoenix, though. And that's the main thing. I'm genuinely thrilled about that. Oh, what? They brought back Tlaxler. That's very odd. But, okay. I'll just declare war on them again in a minute. That's fine. Means now we have a neighbour that we're not at war with again. Until we start the war with them, obviously. Oh, nope, nope, they started a war with us and they just got a second army. Are you kidding me? Okay, nope, Teclas has completely screwed me. <laughs> now Skaven. Hi. Hi, Morphific. How's it going, mate? Yep, cool. Okay, that was a bad turn. That was a bad turn. And thanks to the fact that this is obscene. Uh, we can't actually continue fighting at the same pace. And yeah, they don't want peace. Which is actually surprising. I'm actually quite surprised by that. Um, right. Oh dear. Uh, you there. Start start heading over this way if you would. And I guess Morning at the Moon was sort of abandoning. Going to half abandon that. So we can take this again. Thank you. This is mine now. Good. Oh, cool. We gained another fear and terror item. That's cool. Uh, right, now Grand Hunts Marshal might be nice. Or Telescopic Aim. I think to kill a billion dinosaurs we need that. Frankly. Okay, now... Yep, Blade Shield. Lovely. The Kalara. Let's go with... Uh, let's get a bit better in melee. Because they, they are going to get caught out from time to time, as uh, I'm sure you guys have witnessed. So, Counter-Striker. Yeah, let's do that. Lovely. Okay, that'll do for now. Uh, High Sentinel again needs an upgrade. Uh, ugh, before we can get walls. Like, this this whole area just sucks right now. Um, I wish our upkeep, like, just wasn't quite so high. Because we need to sort of be in every location at once. 
Uh, let's see if this idiot wants peace. He doesn't. Damn you, Teclas. Jerk. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually... This was ludicrously clever. It just spawns so many troops immediately. Uh, which is bizarre. So yeah, let's block his army. I bet he'll still be able to reach, though. Uh, oh, good. We got another thug. Can he still reach? I think he can still reach. I think that's just in reach. Oh, and Templacara. Remember that one was the one I was like, eh, we probably don't need to help that one, right? It'll be fine. It's not on the front line. Well, it is now. Uh, right, requisition. It's fine. Yeah, I want to get towards extra powder. I like that one. Gives explosive damage to, like, everybody. It's great. Um, you know, anyone with missile attacks. So that's very, very fun. Um, oh, yeah, extra range for all missile troops. That sounds great. Let's get that one. Uh, do I want to start upgrading this, or do I just ignore it? Because Mazda Mundi's coming. Um, I really need him to split these into a few armies. I really do. Uh, although I don't really want to be facing a few armies, so that's a problem also. Um, hmm. God, no idea. No idea what to do now. What does the Emperor bid? Keep running about. Keep running about terrified. That's what I need to do. Uh, right. Uh, ugh. God, I have no idea. I have no idea here. So, floating pyramid. Uh, how many turns would it take? Three turns for that to pay for itself. Hmm. Might be able to turn a profit from that. Though, really can't be sure. Yep, I think I just have to build nothing. This has to be undefended again, because I need to deal with these guys. And it looks like I will have to send someone down here to deal with Teclas. Because Teclas is really not rocking a powerful army. Master Mundi, on the hand, on the other hand, really is. I should have, I should have gone down this way to deal with Teclas rather than north to deal with him. Although I did get rid of two other armies of Master Mundi, so yeah, I guess either way, it was just a bad situation generally. Uh, let's move along. Okay, Master Mundi is coming for Morning the Moon. Yeah, yeah. I just need to attack someone with walls. So I can, you know, use towers to my advantage. And, you know, use the gates and have gunners on the walls and all the rest of it. Just, uh... Yeah, just get in good positions where the dinosaurs can't reach me, basically. That's what I need. But we just don't have any of that on that part <laughs> of the map. You know, in that province. It's all easy pickings for him. And, yeah, he can reach it. And, oh, is Suthay's going the other way? Oh, no, he's not. Just a winding road. So, yeah, he's got Templicara. Easy. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What the hell is this? How is that the army that spawns? These guys get awoken and that is what they get given? Disgusting. Unless they had their turn and they used that right that gives them, uh, you know, a ton of dinosaurs. That is entirely possible. But, Jesus Christ. I don't know how we could deal with this. We just don't have the armies for this. Alright, so I'm sacked. At least I didn't take it, but... I mean... It's a little consolation. I mean, look at this. Ridiculous. Um... Marcus Wolfhart, champion hmm. of the faith. Uh, I think what might be a good bet, <laughs> rather stupidly, is to take uh, Tlaxler. Although, I just don't think it's going to last long. Because, uh, yeah, he could reach in Force March and he could reach without. Although, he's a, he actually had to go into Force March to get there, so maybe I can. Oh, no. I can't even reach. I was going to say, maybe I could just take that and they'll suffer attrition. But, yeah, that lot of good that's going to do. Um, and, yeah, we do have handguns here. So, if these guys work really hard, they can probably kill some of the dinosaurs. Ooh, probably not. God, no idea. I have no idea. But uh, it's the end of the episode anyway, so I guess it's for future me to worry about. I mean, flipping heck. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Um, just look at that. Just that. And that. Crazy. Absolutely crazy that this is what we're contending with. We'll figure it out, though. We'll figure it out. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.